Hi there, and thanks for logging on to Hoo-Ha Sports today. On this episode, Mario Balotelli is in trouble again, and it has to do with his iPad. More on that later. But we begin with a look at the US Open Tennis Grand Slam Championships in New York. The tournament is in its crunch week as competition moves into the quarter-final stages. We will look at some of the results and matchups coming up this week. But there are two stories that have grabbed our attention. The withdrawal of Venus Williams and the rise of Donald Young. First, Venus Williams. She pulled out just before her second round match against Janina Wigmeyer after she was diagnosed with Sjogren's Syndrome. Sjogren's Syndrome is a systemic autoimmune disease which immune cells attack and destroy exocrine glands which produces tears and saliva. Kind of like her, the well then dried up. You can Google to find out more on this condition. But in an exclusive interview at ABC's Good Morning America, which the network has made the video available to all on YouTube, doctors have said that Venus can make a return to the game. And this is what she had to say about the whole episode. The good news for me is now I know it's happening after spending years not knowing. Right. So now that I know, I can I have the chance to get better. So I feel like I can I can move on. And, and you know, Sjogren's is something you live with for your whole life. But I'm hoping that people now will know what's happening to them if they have the same symptoms of, of joint pain or feeling ill and a dry eye and dry mouth. Or if you wake up every morning and you feel like you have a cold but you don't have one, mm. then you know that something's wrong. You can watch the whole interview on the ABC News channel on YouTube and we wish Venus a speedy recovery. Now, on to the brighter side of things, there's one Donald Young who's becoming the toast of this US Open. He is the 22-year-old American who is at number 83 in the ATP rankings, who not only has won the hearts of the fans but is now set to meet Andy Murray in the fourth round today. His journey so far has been nothing less than spectacular. Round 1, a straight sets victory over Lucas Lacko. Round 2, a five-set thriller with Stanislas Wawrinka in a four-hour, 21-minute duel. And did that take the win out of him? No. He brushed aside one Ignacio Cella in straight sets and now faces the world number four, Andy Murray. Well, it's one of those stories that makes a Grand Slam tournament, doesn't it? Okay, let's look at some of the fourth-round results and draws in the men's singles. World number one, Novak Djokovic and Janko Tipsarevic will face each other in the quarters, while Joe Wilfred Songa will wait for the winner between world number three, Roger Federer and Juan Monaco. And you can say it looks set to be Federer, ain't it? Pool two, since John Isner going up against Gilles Simon and the winner will meet either Young or Murray, while Spanish David Ferrer faces another American, Andy Roddick. Spanish David Ferrer is up against another American, Andy Roddick, while former world number one and now world number two, Rafael Nadal, meets Gilles Muller. With Venus out, Lina crashing out in the first round and other casualties such as Marian Bartoli, Yelena Jankovic and Victoria Azarenka who lost to Serena Williams who also acts the lovely Anna Ivanovic, this is how the ladies will pair up in round four. The winner between Caroline Wozniacki and Svetlana Kuznetsova will meet Andrea Petkovic in the quarterfinals, while Serena meets Pavlichenkova in the last eight. In Pool B, Flavia Panetta defeated China's Peng Shui and will meet Angelique Kerber from Germany in the quarters, while Aussie last Sam Stoser is still going strong, but faces a tough battle when she goes up against second-seeded Vera Zvonareva in the quarterfinals. Well, I'm going to pull out my comfort chair and watch the Donald Young Andy Murray encounter scheduled for 11 a.m. on the 6th, which works out to be around 11 p.m. Malaysian time tonight. Okay, time for a bit of football news. There will be Euro qualifiers tonight with holders Spain, the Netherlands and Italy on the brink of qualification. But Azuri bad boy Mario Balotelli has rubbed his coach Cesar Prandelli the wrong way. Prandelli was furious because Balotelli was messing with his iPad when he was on the subs bench while his teammates were putting out a less than impressive performance against Minos, the Faroe Island, in Friday's Euro qualifiers. But the Man City player denies that he had his iPad with him while the team manager Gigi Riva tried to ease the tension and said that there was nothing to worry about. Balotelli came on in the last five minutes of that game where the Italians won by only a solitary goal and will take on Slovenia tonight. A win will confirm their progression to the finals next year. We will bring you a roundup of the results and standings on tomorrow's webisode here on Buha Sports today before the penultimate round of fixtures next month. Till then, from the team and I, thanks for logging on and it's bye for now.